Hello everybody, this is Bill, also known as Minister Bill, my other channel, and I'm telling you right now, God keeps on waking me up and telling me to wake up and start this message. Whatever you're doing, whoever you are, go to God, go to Jesus, accept Him, believe in Him, repent of your sins. Have faith and believe in him, in Jesus Christ, because he's coming soon. Sooner than we think. We cannot predict the day, and we do not know the time. Everybody says we know the time and day. No, we don't know exactly when. Yes, everybody's knowing the gospel through technology today. And it's going to continue until everybody knows. But God's coming back, and he's coming back with a wrath after he raptures us. Whoever is in Christ, whoever is in dead, shall rise first, and those will follow. I'm telling you right now, go to Jesus. Believe in him. Let him in your heart. Open your heart. He's knocking on your door. He convicts me almost every day of my life. Because we've been getting closer and closer. Once you convict yourself to God, your, everything's going to be fine. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to work out. Don't falter from him. I have in the past in my life. And the dream I had when Jesus came to me and showed me, Do you, does your life want to be nothing but darkness? And he showed me nothing but pitch black. I said, no, Lord, I don't. Then he showed me the destruction of what's going to happen on the earth. Fire fall from the sky. The earth is going to be destroyed. Buildings are going to be destroyed. People are going to die in the streets. People are going to end up being pulled into hell over this. Because people are not listening. Stop your sin right now. Ask Jesus to help you stop your sin right now. Repent of your sin. Know that Jesus Christ is your Savior. Repent and know that he rose up from the grave on th the third day after his crucifixion, crucified, being crucified. And I'm sorry, I screwed it up. I'm tired. I don't care how tired I am and how much pain I'm in right now. But I'm telling you right now, accept, believe, repent, and keep your faith in Christ because he is coming back. Have faith in Jesus Christ. Believe in your heart. Every bit of your heart. He's coming back. He's your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, Christians and non-Christians, believers and non-believers, He's coming back. There is no doubt whatsoever. God is coming back. And once He takes the saints to heaven, how is it going to open up on earth? Like you won't believe. Get your life out of darkness. Get away from that sin. Don't be in the darkness of the world. Those who know the world do not know God. Those who know God are not of the world. It takes time and effort to work on that. But do it every day. Every day. God is here for you and me and everybody in this whole world. Get away from that sin you're in. Everybody, get away. Repent of those sins. And believe in Jesus Christ because he's the only way, the truth, the way, and the life. And no man can enter the kingdom of heaven except through Jesus Christ. No man can see my Father in heaven except through Jesus Christ. I'm begging you, I'm praying for you, every one of you guys out there. Every one of your people out there. I don't care who you are. Get away from sin. I don't care if your lifestyle is whatever it is, get away from sin. I'm praying for you because I care you, care for you. And God, I love you through Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you in Jesus Christ. Every one of you. God's coming back. I'm telling you. God bless you all. Please accept Jesus Christ. Know that he rose up from the grave on the third day. Repent of your sins and have faith and believe in Jesus Christ always because he's the only way to heaven. The other way is to hell 
an eternal damnation. And I pray every day and I fear every day that I screw up. If I screw up or sin or say something wrong or think something wrong, I'm going to hell. But I repent and I ask for forgiveness every day after that. We need to because God is God and He wants us to be happy in Him. Yes, He gives us free will, but He also wants us to be with Him. Since the beginning of time, mankind has screwed up his sin. He wants you to come to Him and be in His presence the rest of our eternal life. You want eternal life or eternal damnation? Constantly thinking, burning, sinning of your sins, knowing your sins, each Every sin you commit it, you're going to be reminded of that. You're going to be in pain, a lot worse pain than you ever, and internally, every bit you think it is, it's going to happen. Please, go to God. Please. God bless you all, and I'll be updating some more stuff eventually. I'm just keep trying to get a little bit better on my stomach and all that, but this message has been bothering me. God is like, get up and tell people. I don't care how you feel. I don't care. Who, well, of course, God does care. But he said, get up, tell this message. Get this message off your mind and off your heart. God bless you. And I'll see you around.